How are we doing everyone? Welcome back, going back into Night 11, an ultimate night of Lakeburg, so this will probably be a lot tougher than last night, which was already bad enough, but hopefully we've got enough blisters. <laughs> this is now literally just a wall of blisters. I, I suspect that certain people would probably end up with literal lines of it, but that's for another time, so let's get on with this. We're expecting massive waves up right down left, so... Yep. Just sheer volley fire going in. Again, they still can't get through our tanks, so that's fine. Ooh, that wave's coming in down, which is actually really bad. Excuse me? Who that? What does energetic do? Oh, it does two moves in attack. Right, so that needs to die. Well, thankfully it's ended up pretty much exactly where it has the highest chance of dying, so, uh... And it's dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love swords. Just build up all the momentum and then just let it rip. Uh, don't care about him. As long as that's dead and we can get over into this lot, that will die to anything, so... It's not even that big a threat if it does live for another turn or so. So we'll just let that build up and then we'll just stab that guy. Uh, don't think we need to pop block there. Up here, we have a big boy, among other things. Um, yeah, I guess just open up. We have several big boys is the issue. Move all the way over there and just try and focus him down first, I guess. Hmm. Can't quite get that to work, so... Just a regular shot into him, and then I guess we'll have to bring her over. I'll probably keep this guy on this side, because this seems to be the main push here. Yeah, so... That'll be a bit more of interesting. We'll try to bring that down. But, at the moment, we have to retreat on that front. You just need to cut your way in. Thankfully, I think we've weakened them enough, but... He says messing that one up. Uh, in which case, it's going to have to be an X. I was kind of hoping to cut through that guy and then do a step through on that one, but... This will have to do. Uh, he should hopefully die to poison and attack. I'm going to pop this because that's going to... Eh, no, he should die anyway. We'll leave that. Uh, up here, though. Right. I mean, the priority is that guy, but... I do keep, need to keep sniping every guy along the way, so... Probably prioritize... Them. And then step over? We can we can step out. Probably have you chain lightning that end of the thing. Not quite what I was intending, but solid enough hit regardless. That was a good enough hit. I want this guy isolated. Which we've got, so now that that should do a bunch of damage, yep. Can't quite get in there for a finisher, but... That does the job. And then, I guess, just a stray shot onto... I'm tempted to run this way and just pick that guy off. Because I don't actually know if a Bliss could ever get that guy. I don't want to drag the Swordsman all the way over. Can't even get a shot for this guy anyway. Um... I mean, he has to run that way anyway to get a light sight, and then I guess we'll just pump around into you. Right. So you get two shots. I'll move you this way, because this is the center of the thing anyway. Stone wall is going to be annoying. I need to bring down that guy. I don't want this guy affecting this wall, because this guy wall's only got one guy on it anyway. Good enough. And then the last guy... This thing needs to die. 
Uh, probably a normal shot should be able to drop that guy. And then, I guess, two regular shots into him. Would have loved to got a snipe on him, but not an option with the movement options we had there. Right, let's turn one then. Poison and stun has done its job on the top right. top left is going to be annoying and they are starting to make quite a bit of headway through the walls. Stunning, you lose everything, so even though we didn't take any damage, we've now actually lost our guard up there, which... Oh boy. This is going to get fun real quick, I can tell. I mean, I was expecting a... How the hell? That can't have been a very likely turn of events. Uh, right. Well, now we're in trouble. Um... <laughs> so I need that guy dead. And he just doesn't want to fall over. There we go. Uh, move here. Jump over that wall there. I need to get better at placing jump walls. Uh, right. And then moving here. Lightning there should be good. Solid enough. But that, that at least means we can hold this fairly well. I need that guy dead. Like, now. Because I can't have this guy being stunned every turn. I did not realise they even had a rage stun attack. Seems kind of ridiculous. Yeah, he's dead. Um, rest of this stuff isn't that dangerous. So I'm actually going to take a chunk out of that guy. Didn't crit was what I was hoping for, but oh well. Right, over here. Well, this side section's just turned into a side show almost, so. Uh, yeah, it's about as much momentum as we can get. He's dead. I just want as much momentum. I want the big guys dead on this front, because then he can potentially leave it to ballistas. Not that ballistas really have a shot over here. That guy there is the... Well, we can get to there and then step through him. Good enough. Can't really do anything with that, but... No, we lost some health, apparently, at some point. But sorted now. Uh, right. So he's a little out of position, but at least that side is mostly cleared up. This side, however, is a different issue. Don't think 18 isolation is worth an action point. Good, we managed to at least clean them up. Uh, getting a little worried about this side over here, so we'll just clean that up a little bit. That guy's at least wounded now, so he shouldn't be too much of an issue. You need to cut your way out of there. Well, not necessarily cut your way out, but weaken everything so it dies to poison is actually the goal. Which is ramping up and then step. And then step there. I think I, think I can leave that guy. So I'm actually going to step. Actually, no, I can ramp up one more and then go step there. So he's dead. And then I uh, can't step through to there, but I guess that's better than where he is. So, yeah, that should hopefully take care of itself. And that's everyone's movement. Right. Oh, stun a minute. They've made it so you can't get chain stunned. <laughs> Good, because that was horrible when that was a possibility. Oh, we've got another elite in there. Now, guy's massively out of position. Ooh, starting to make our way through the wall on the left. Okay, so this side, I'm convinced, should be able to clean itself up quite nicely. Over here, not so much. I 
think priority is clearing out the big guys because the, uh, the the tank can deal with a lot. And then I guess dagger him. Yeah, that that's helped a lot on that front, but I still want my tank over there. So choppy choppy. It's fine. Two swings of the axe. Or maybe a swing of the sword. Something like that. Stab him, kill him, end up here. That's pretty much exactly where I want to. Because that'll hit all of that. This lot, will, that'll still be alive. This lot should start spreading poison around. Yeah, I think that's the best we can do on that front. Oh boy. This front's looking nasty as well. Um, run down there. Can you just want that one dead? Then lightning there should be fine to spread. Let's cut down the numbers at least decently. Uh, fireball on two big guys instead of one little guy on the end there. Don't care about that guy. This guy's the problem. Uh, oh, we do get a free one shot. Need to remember I have a free one shot with this guy. Um, I think just work this guy down. I probably should have popped my damage potion, but we are still we're not even halfway through the night yet. Oh dear. This night is going to be horrible, I can tell. If we can kill this guy, I think we're fine. say fine, I mean fine on this front for the moment. It's at least dealt with a lot of that. Right, up here. Short bow time. This is why we bought it. Short bows are much better in this situation than the long bow is. It's also quite good at creating isolated targets. Not that that matters with this guy, but it has potential. And then power shot is always better than uh, actually, that guy's going to die to a ballista, so I think shooting... That guy should die. Shooting that guy's probably the best. Alright, and then down here, we need to get back to the wall. We need to essentially manage to end up in that guy. Which is harder than it seems. At least to end up doing damage up there, anyway. Oh yeah, overkill damage. Forgot about that. He's technically the best way of killing him is to kill everyone near him. Alright, ramp up the momentum. And then stab the guy. And do it again. He's not dead, but he will die to his own attack. I'm gonna end up there. I think that'll stop the majority of it. In fact, even the ballistas might be able to get him. Right. See how that resolves itself. Poison is doing its work up there, that's fine. Didn't kill that guy, but hopefully he just died to hitting him. That's a big chunk of damage on that guy. And they're starting to breach the walls. Chug this. Get ourselves off wounded. This guy needs to die. He's doing armor piercing. Which is something I absolutely hate in this game, that that's an option. Ramp up the uh, momentum. Right into that guy. That was a mistake. Well, it went too far on that one. Run through this guy. Step through this guy and then up back there. Yeah, that's about the best we could do. Uh, actually, probably gonna move around there and done it differently, but uh, okay. Whew. This is gonna get complicated. 
because you now need to end up back on the other side. I need this guy dead, or at least weakened. And then ending up there should spread the poison nicely. You can finish him off. And then... Because he won't get poisoned. I kind of want this weakened. I'm not so bothered now about... Um... Okay, he's dead. I'm not so bothered now about panic meter. This is the last couple of nights. It really doesn't matter. It's all about just holding the defences together. This slot should be able to be fine. Getting worried about here because you don't have a good way of killing that guy on his own. So I'm going to move this guy over. Tank there should be able to stun and concentrate this a lot. Chuck that potion, actually. Just to keep yourself alive. I'll save the stone potion on him in case I need it later. Lightning has to be this guy. Definitely weaken them enough anyway. Uh, take out as many ethereals as possible. Even took out the big guy. Okay. We're really starting to see the benefits of the crit buffs. Should have popped this, but I'll save it for next turn, I guess, now. It's a bit late. Don't forget we have this to pick off any random guy. 200 and something... Uh, this is better. At least when it hits. Uh, save the mana pot, actually. We can chug that later. Kill this guy. He says, that should have undodgeable. Because it's a sniper shot. But whatever. Uh, hop over the wall. Why can I not hop over? There we go. Okay. Love to get some isolation on that guy, but it's going to be really hard to do. So I think we'll just hit him. Good. And then I guess just. Uh... We'll actually burn some mana on this guy because. We have mana to spare. He's going to have to hang out outside the walls, but he's not really in danger, so. I'll pop this just in case, but he should be fine there. I'm actually going to move you over slightly. I want help on this front desperately. Never mind. This guy has decided he's got this. I can't really argue with him because I need him to do it. Probably not going to be able to weaken that guy by the time he approaches, but at the very least we've Pin the numbers enough that we should be fine now. There's no point standing there. I guess just killing the guy nearest the wall is the best. Right, hide. Right. Turn four done. Contagion's doing its job top right. Bottom left is a problem. We do have elites now banging on the door bottom right. When I said that guy wasn't in danger and I was lying. Didn't expect to reach guy to be there so quickly. Okay. Well, you need to now move back over here because this side has dealt with itself most. It's an elite over there. I don't like that. Uh, <laughs> can we do anything about those guys? There's just so many of them. I guess we have to weaken the guys enough that the other guy can, the, the tank can do its job. It's the only thing I can really do at this point. Alright, fall back a bit because we're going to have to start falling back inside the town. We've hit the stage I didn't want to hit because everything's about to go do lally. Ramp up momentum. Stab that one. I want them both weak enough that poison might be able to do its job. 
Which probably sounds silly and probably is, but. Pop potions don't. She's now gonna get hit hard. This guy took a wound, so that's just movement loss, but. Thankfully, he can just run back inside the walls. Uh. Don't really have that great of options for damage purposes on this front. I guess just killing that guy is going to have to be a problem. I want to leave that chain there. Save that slot after the chain lightning. I think if we do a fireball there for the moment. Got an action point back, which is very much needed right now. Good chain lightning. Also isolates this guy. Uh, do we wail on this guy? Or do we kill up all the other guys? We use the free shot on that. But then I think we just try and reduce the number of big guys. This will be the focus next turn. Pop that next turn. We'll pop one of these now. He does get two turns of essentially double drinking, so it's good, I guess. Didn't kill him, but this will. Um, yeah, let's just go along. So he's dead anyway. Uh, and then normal shot. That guy. All right, get back inside. Stay safe. Can't take another hit on him. This guy needs to continue pushing his way along. Thankfully, overkill damage is a thing. debating how I want to end up on this. I think we go here. End up here. Do this. End up over here. Pop potion. Because he's now going to get hit again. This is, the, this is the stage where we really start taking damage. Back there is going to be an issue. Can I help it in any way though? I don't know. I don't think so. Not effectively anyway. That changes a few things, because... Uh, undodgeable. Yeah, this should kill him. Or at least weaken him enough that this should kill him. Cough, cough. Which one of these does more damage? This one. Okay, he's dead. That's fine. Stand back from the wall just to avoid any damage on that front. Going into one of the last nights. I think we'll hold tonight, which means we will get to the final night, but... Ooh, this is getting risky. I still don't think they got through her armor. She's just stuck there, just not caring. I don't think she got stunned either. Right. Well, got to keep working away on this front. We'll start here and we'll work our way around, but... There is a lot of cleanup to do the range on this. Don't know if we can get in range to actually affect that guy with that shot. I also need to deal with everything else at the same time on this front. So, I guess... That'll have to do. He's weakened, at least. Stand back from the wall again. This is going to be a mess over here. I want lightning on that guy. I'm going to save movement and go that way around. Solid enough, I guess. I uh, should have popped this first. Let me do it now. Fireballs. <laughs> you got to love Crit Mage. Crit Mage is just insane when it pops off. Try and have this guy kill all the elites. Or at least the majority of them. The other guy's going to have to clean up afterwards. 
Need more mana, because you are going to need it. Um, I don't know if we can get in range for that, because I want to hit that guy. But it's really hard to get over there. Might be able to do it with a regular shot. Okay, we'll do this. Okay, he's dead, that's fine. And then we can do a throwing dagger into... Is it worth hitting that guy? Not really. He says killing it in one shot, but we didn't have a better option anyway. Uh, right. Here, this guy needs to die. Essentially, I just need to keep the wall clear on this front. We'll have to deal with Big Boy next turn, but... Actually, we do have a lot of action points left. Uh, that was a bad move by me. Gotta do it that way. And then ramp it up. And then do this. He's dead. Good. Uh... Do I go this way or that way? They're all in, so... This lot should hopefully die to Blister, so we end up over here. Right. I'm actually going to pull back a bit, because I need this guy potentially to help out over here. Right. The mess. Oh, dear God. Um, right, how do we do this mess? Probably that. We'll be very careful not to hit our own guy and kill ourselves like we did last time. Then a dagger there. Swip back to this. Piercing shot there. Back to the dagger. This is so we get this buff rolling and that's going to have to carry the day essentially. It's at least doing a fair amount of damage so I can't complain about it. Right. You need to hack your way through this. I think the axe does more damage than the sword initially on this girl. So that's what we're primarily going to be using to cut our way through. Ramp up the damage some more. End up in the middle of everybody over here. In fact, if we kill this guy, we can run here. We'll stay on this point, I think. Right, that'll be good. Uh, right, it's that turn. Poison's still doing its job. They're going to stop throwing stones, which is going to be problematic. The blisters are cleaning up a lot of the wave. And she's stunned. That's problematic. Because we can't now move her. But she's in a decent enough spot, she can at least keep spreading some poison. You need to kill that guy. This guy's poisoned and will die slowly, so it's not a big deal on him. But that one needs to die. Uh, I guess that's weak enough. At least the big guy's done. We'll have to deal with this next turn, but it's okay if they actually destroy the stone walls. That'll make tomorrow night easier. Uh, I guess you just need to come out and help. Uh, so, free wand attack. If I can get it on his mate. That isolates that guy. Do I feel safe enough doing... I think if I do this... Lightning there. That helps out that front a lot. That helps out this front. It's burning a lot of our mana, but... We're okay with that. He should be dead. So it's just clean up on... Damn shot on him. Might be able to use the passability if this guy gets close enough. So, this guy has to die. That guy has to die. Hmm. 
and use the passive action point ability to go on him. Bring him down. Still can't get a shot on this bottom guy, so... I can hit that guy, though. So that's this front dealt with. Move down here, clean up this. So, to alternate the damage type best we can. That into that. Good enough, I guess. Uh, that into that. Stray shot on you. Yeah, you can see once you get it wrapping up, that does a hell of a lot of damage, but just getting there is the problem. So we are mostly dealt with. By mostly, I mean pretty much. Uh, didn't see this guy. One sec. Got to go through that guy. Use up movement so we can reset ourselves, essentially. Hmm. Could rip for our own walls to end up in a useful spot, but... Don't know if that's actually worth it. Does the spear do anything? Yeah, spear can do stumping. I forgot spear did this. Wasted attack there, but good enough, I guess. End on the sword. Pop that in case it gets targeted. There's nothing you can do, right? Not really. Hide there just in case, but... Play this lot up, and we should be good. I don't think they'll be able to do anything to the actual tank. They haven't been able to do the whole game, so... I struggle to believe they'd be able to do it now. Right. And then I guess it's energy conservation. We don't want to use anything we don't have to, so... Ramp up the momentum, stack him in the back, and he's dead. Okay. That was close. That was actually close to being horrible. But this is an ultimate night and we get to level 10, so... Uh, yeah, triggered panic too. Only just, but... You can see the Tainted Essence ramp up is real. Okay. So the final night, they push all the things back, if it wasn't obvious. So basically, we don't have to worry about the Seer today. We do have to worry about whatever the hell that is. I don't even know what that is at this point. Alright, what do we get from here? Rogue crit base. Not bad. I certainly would use it if we got any. Does any of this help us right now? We're so close to getting this done in one shot, I was not expecting to actually get here. <laughs> Tell me about the other one. <laughs> Are you exes or something? That's basically how I read that. Um, I'm tempted to get traps. Can't get experience. Are there any omens thinking ahead for next time we want to start? Even if we die, essentially, we'd be able to get a better start. I do like swords. I do like these. I do like... Uh, I'm not so keen on rifles, actually. I think bows are proving to be slightly better. Hmm. about all of this. Okay, right. But the omens we want aren't that prioritized, so we don't have to worry about them. I honestly think traps will be the right way we were in this next night, so we'll grab them. We'll grab stone walls for next time. We're not going to build them now, but this sort of stuff does matter. I was wondering where it was. Uh, yeah, we'll leave the rest. Okay. It's unlocked, done at least. Final upgrades for this town. Because after this, there is nothing left. I wonder if I actually need to get more health for him. Because he is starting to take damage. 
Normal tank, uh, god tank's fine, but he's definitely struggling. Yeah, we'll grab that. Perks. This would be so helpful. He's not going to be within range or anything. Yeah. Grab that. Because, as proven last night, the main problem is going to be at the end of the night, not at the start. This guy needs to crit more. Skill range would be good. Isolation would be good. Skill range is better, I think. This matters in terms of spreading overkill damage, but he's not actually going to be within you range. This would enable him to spam the longbow abilities, which would be good. Or we could just grab this. I think we, I think everyone's just grabbing this. Like, I don't think there's a reason not to at this point. Um, damage, I guess. It's boring, but. The whole thing is damaging crit, so what are you going to do? She can't pick this up because she needs multiple damage types. Hmm. I think it's just crit master, just crit more. love for her to have gotten that, but not an option. Uh, right. Main tank. I don't think she needs more armor. I really don't. Um, she was struggling to get between places, so maybe movement's actually worth it. Uh, I'm tempted to say stun chance. Because she's just stood in the middle of everyone, and the more we can slow down a front, the better. Poison damage needs wrapping up. If we can double the poison damage she does, she'll basically kill all the little ones the second they walk in, which will be amazing. Um, who are you? The other multi-damage. I'm actually going to re-roll this. Whatever, flat damage is the best. None of these are great. Reliability. And then you. Same thing. I mean, that would be amazing if we had AoE on this guy, but we don't. Because then you could really have him as a sniper. I guess just crit damage. We'll go for whenever we crit, we kill whoever we've crit. Has to be the way we play it. Magic girl. Damage or accuracy. Damage better. Propagation mounts. This will really help the lightning. Two extra of them is huge. Uh, right. That would be so good. I don't know if there's another one that even comes close. Oh dear god, that on the tank would have been amazing! Uh... Yep, don't know if there's another one because just spam spells. All you need to do. Getting get get getting potentially what? Three or four mana back every turn? Means I don't ever have to worry about her. Scepters and power staffs. Scepters are better than power staffs. I guess we go with this. Orbs. Uh all kind of meh. I guess it's just whatever sells highest. We do need to spend money. Kind of were a bit wasteful last night, but that sort of balances out because of all the extra items we're hopefully going to get. So. But I guess we'll pick that up. That's not a bad helm. Yeah, we can go with that. 
That's terrible. But it sells for the highest. The kind of thing I'm noticing is you end up at a certain point where you just don't need this stuff. I might have invested a little too much in production at this point because we're definitely wasting opportunities. Or that we could just need the upgrades. So there are upgrades that increase the percentage these turn rare. And the rare ones are the only interesting ones. I don't think that's going to be any good, but it's the best one there anyway. Dagger 5 might be good. We are using daggers a lot. Alright, repair everything that's up. And then rebuild all the walls. I am going to grab carrion stuff. Because that's the most efficient. I think that's all of them. There aren't any elite items hanging around that I can see. Because they're really good. So, yeah, that'll have to do for them. All garbage. Definitely gonna sell for a lot of gold though. I mean, that's not bad for tanking. I might take this to give to our second tank. It's also not bad. <laughs> Arguably, that's like one of the best ones for poison tank. Uh, well. Hold off on it though. I'm, I'm more concerned about keeping our uh, the, the non poison tank alive than I am about buffing poison tank anymore because she just doesn't need it. She's so strong right now. I'm actually going to re roll this because it's going to be the last one. Hmm. See how we do with that one. Right. So, what are we going to spend our workers on? Actually, these. First time I think I'll ever have done this, spending workers on defences. But considering the situation we're in, I consider it uh, necessary. So everyone's mana topped up, yeah? Good. I actually might need a temple as well, because I don't think we've got one at the moment. It can go anywhere, because it's it doesn't matter if it dies. It can actually form a blockade up here, in case anyone gets up there. 40 health, how much do we have to heal? That would put him practically on full. Good enough, I think. Uh, get back inside the walls. Right, so. Rebuild all the walls that got trashed. And they did get absolutely trashed. I'm not going to put any gates in this time. Gates are a weakness, and we can't afford any. I'm actually going to replace... Uh, do I want a stone gate? No. I still need to be able to have the blisters shoot through there, so I can't have a stone gate there. But I can have... a couple of mounted blisters up here. That will help out over this front enormously. It is one of the main fronts that gets hit, so it looks like this is going to be the main fight area. Uh, oh, we can upgrade everything to a mounted ballista. Uh, probably not necessary right now. This is not going to get up enough to be worth it, I think. I'd rather have traps set up for the first wave to breach the wall and then that should hopefully slow everyone down enough. Can we upgrade these? We cannot upgrade these, so. What do we want to spend our last workers on? I don't think that's relevant. We do have the gold for this. I don't think that's relevant either. So I guess... 
Anything in the shop? That is a hell of a back crystal. Uh, potion of stone could be good. Potion of damage could be good. Um, other than that, that seems terrible. None of this seems remarkably good. So, I guess we'll just equip and call it a episode there. Well, maybe after I've built... I've, I'll be honest, I might just do this. Don't really care where they go, but we have plenty to spend, so we are just going to dump them around. And then maybe a couple on this front. Right. That should be good enough. Um... Yep. I where did I build that temple? I actually decided I want uh, this up on which one's our damage tank? You, because he might get hit more. She's 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 fine. She she will never die. Regardless of what you say, she will never die. He might. Um. Yep. And then. One last worker. Infinite. <laughs> Infinite of every type. Okay, so that was a complete waste of work, but it's fun to see what it does. I'm assuming this yeah, there's nothing we can get from in there. Um right. In which case, I guess all we can do is check the shop some more. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. This is oh, good. This is bad. This is bad. Keep that. Keep that. Check that. Check them. That's bad. I think. No, that's not bad. That can go on you. Because. That is better. Having just the option to do like rays of death. It's pretty good over that. Um That's good for you. I think. I mean it's better than that in general, so whatever. Dagger five here. What do we have on the other one? Dagger free, so that's an upgrade. Swords. Four with a lot of stuff on it. Yeah, I don't think we're getting a better one there. Uh, you. That is more armor, more damage, more block, which is good for that. Um, shields. You benefit most out of this, so I guess just have some more armor. You. Only got a free shield. Yeah, that's better than that. That might be the reason he was dying. Those two are good on you. Have a better potion of stone. Uh, you don't need the damage. I guess just have multiple potions of stone on her. And then the damage potion on you is probably good. Right. Sell all that. And then. Yes, just spend the money rolling on a shop because there's literally nothing else to spend money on right now. Except upgrade everything. I mean, we can do that. I don't think it's particularly important, but. I guess 100%ing the town would be nice. Anything else that we can upgrade? Anything at all? It's a big waste of money, but money is pretty much useless at this stage of the game anyway. Which is interesting, because I've never met a game where it's essentially become bad to have money before. Um, it's all garbage. We're literally looking for reds. Pretty much the only thing that matters. Ooh, that will be useful in the tanks. Because it'll stop them getting stunned at a key turn, maybe. 
Uh, that's not bad armor. More mana pot, just in case. Tome 5. What's our current tome? Let me swap them over. What's our current tome? Also a five. Uh, propagation damage is worth a lot. Like a lot, a lot. We'll grab that. Um, shield's bad. This is bad. Yep, okay. It's like rolling in Hearthstone. Just keep rolling until you get something good. Uh, I'm sure about that orb. Nah, I think that'll do. I did not mean to sell those two. Right. Before I forget to do it all next time, I'll put this on you, so you never get stunned, so you can always be in the correct place. And then, is it you? No, it's you. That's better than that. Like the combination there, uh, I guess having a mana potion on you wouldn't be bad. Okay, that is everything. Yes, I'm just going to ignore the fact we have more money. All right, so that's the setup for the final show, and then I will see you guys next time.